tonight, four lives put on a different path. They've each served more than 16 years in prison for nonviolent drug crimes. Now these four faces, these individuals, all being given a second chance. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is granting those convicts clemency. We thank you for joining us tonight here at 11. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford, the governor calling it a step in the right direction. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper joining us live right now with the story of one of those prisoners tonight. Rudy? Well, advocates for Michael Thompson said this is far too long. It took too long to get to this point. They say he caught COVID-19 in jail, and the last prisoner project says he's the longest-serving nonviolent criminal in the state. He will now be freed. My name is Michael Thompson. I am presently incarcerated at the Muskegon Correctional Facility in Muskegon, Michigan. Michael Thompson went to jail in 1994. He was sentenced to 40 to 60 years in prison for selling weed to an undercover informant. The state says he was also in possession of a firearm. He had a prior record, uh, but it was a marijuana-related offense. The fact is, is that he was selling marijuana to um, an undercover police officer. That was the felony that was the underlying predicate offense to the to the firearm offense. Attorney Barton Morris says for years, advocates like the last prisoner project have tried to overturn his conviction. Their plea was Thompson should not be given a life sentence for selling weed, especially after its legalization in the state in 2018. Thompson is now 68 years old. But the prosecutor's office that prosecuted him, um, they even said that he should be released. Uh, he also had the support of uh, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel. Their work has paid off. Governor Whitmer announced she would grant four requests for clemency after recommendations by the Michigan Parole Board. Thompson, one of those four on the list of applicants serving long-term sentences for selling drugs. In a statement, Whitmer said in part, these commutations offer a second chance to four individuals who have accepted responsibility and paid their debts to society and whose sentences span decades for nonviolent offenses. Thompson not only caught COVID-19 in jail, he served 25 years and was to remain in state custody for another 35 years. Supporters call today a victory, but they say there's more work to be done. Thompson expected to be freed in 30 days. However, Carolyn, these early releases do not mean these convictions are overturned. Live in Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Rudy.